Hello everybody, this is Faith from Mini Mimi Thrifter. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about what sold for me um, Tuesday and Wednesday. No. <laughs> Monday and Tuesday. Alright, so let's get to it. Alrighty, first off I want to say, um, I know I haven't made a video in probably three weeks and I was just feeling eh about the whole thing and the time involved and my internet provider so I just took a break and I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to have um, my two videos a week but I will try to do better <laughs> and I do welcome my new subscribers um, so this is what I do I show you things that I have sourced for selling on eBay um, and I show you the things that have sold so let's get right into it. All right, so for those of you that are new, I bought a bulk deal from a lady who was selling out of a storage unit, and I made a, a huge deal. I paid $220, and I got gobs and gobs and gobs of items. So this is part of the 220 deal. Let's see, hope y'all can see that. It's Royal Copley, little planter. Um, it, it had chips and stuff. I'm in nothing but profit on that, um, deal now. So this little item only sold for $6.35, um, and the buyer's all in at $16.49. Alrighty, the next item is this. It's a yo -gogurt. Yeah, sorry, yo <laughs> yo -may. It's a yogurt maker. Here, let me take the top off show you so see down inside there's another little plastic canister that just sits inside with its lid it's a really simple little machine it just heats up i'm sure to a certain degree don't know what that is so i bought this just recently this hasn't been listed but maybe a week at the most um i bought it at a local thrift store for three dollars and it sold on sale for $25.49 and the buyer's all in at $39.85. All right, next item. I don't want to take them out of the bag. <laughs> I'm lazy today. Um, so this is a set of six Hot Wheels that were part of my husband's collection. All the cards were bad, so I removed them all from the cards. I just lotted them together, so they sold for $11.99 and the buyer's all in at $22.15. All right, next item. Oh, shame. Okay. I got this little naked dude. Um, it's a fashionista. I don't know what that mess is. I am so not into Barbie. But uh, this little guy I got at a yard sale. I actually bought um, a whole gob of Barbie items. The people at the yard sale were just trying to get rid of a lot of items. And they had monster high they had gobs of barbie they had barbie houses and cars and clothes and so they said fifty dollars for the whole lot i took it i've already sold three or four items on it i'm already in profit in that and so this little guy is all profit um he sold for 19.95 and the buyer's all in at 30 60. all right Next item, this was just recently bought as well at a yard sale. Um, I saw a box full of older Stephen King books. They weren't first editions or whatever. Some of them were close, like they would be just like the second edition or whatever, or the first edition, second print kind of thing. So I bought a huge box of them, I'm gonna say, 15, 12 to 15 books. I really can't remember. And they were all hardbacks except for one. Then there was a couple of other little soft um, covers that were um, like Gremlins and Tarzan. So anyhow, I bought all of them for $10. I've already sold one book. Um, that would have been it. And like I said, these are all Stephen King. And then these books here, they didn't go for much. It's a lot of five of them. Um, so I just lotted them together. Um, I took an offer of $22.50 and the buyer's all in at $29.99. 
Alright. Next item. Sorry for the noise. I'm sure it's going to make some. What is this plush? It's not a pillow pet. It's a pillow pet style, though. Because it still rolls up and such and opens out. But it was just a generic, I guess. Let me see if it had a name. Um, apparently not, because I did not put one in the listing. Yeah, it didn't have a name. It's got tags, you know, the little tags about the material and stuff like that. But, anyhow, I paid, I don't know, maybe a dollar. I doubt I paid a dollar for him. So, anyhow, it's a cute little fox. I had to get him because he's a fox. Foxy. So, anyhow, this little pillow pet style plush sold for $12.99 and the buyer's all in at $20.55. All right, just a sec. All right. Next item is... Um, did I tape it? No, I taped it closed. I wanted to show y'all. I got this at a yard sale. No. Did I get it at a yard sale? I'm pretty sure I got this at like a Salvation Army. I've had it for a long time. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm just going to cut it open because it's ticking me off. I'm sure it sold because the Olympics are going on and I had it actually when I got them I was hoping they'd sell quicker but it's just a set of pins from the 1996 Olympics um, had the COA in it I taped it closed because the container doesn't now I got tape all over me <laughs> because the container won't stay closed okay so I think I bought those for a dollar and um, they sold for $17.64, and the buyer's all in at $27.44. Alrighty, next item. Got this at a yard sale recently. I think I paid a dollar for it as well. It's a little chalkware. You can see it's vintage. Um, it, it, I think it had, a, a, I don't know if it was two hands in, the, in two cups or what, but it was, it was supposed to be a pair, so, but I only had the one. It sold for $12.99, and the buyer's all in at $28.38. Oh, I need a haircut. All right. Next two items, um, one buyer paid for. And they're both Noritake. It's hard to see, but it's got like a gold edging to it. Um, make sure. I'm, I don't have my glasses on, so I don't want to show you all this upside down. Now it's going to reflect the... <laughs> so they're two different sizes they're both platters it's just that um one is slightly smaller than the other as you can see so i'm, I'm probably going to end up refunding them some uh shipping um but they sold for 19.53 together and the buyers all in at 44.10 and i know the shipping's not gonna shouldn't be that high we'll see <laughs> So, um, that was part of the 220 deal. Both of those items were, so it's nothing but profit for those items. Alrighty, and the next item is, um, at a yard sale, um, I, there was a lady, um, who had a huge box of all these craft items, and the majority of them were Martha Stewart. And so, I bought them. Uh, she said, make me an offer. I said $20. She accepted and so I'll, I've already made several sales of these, um, but I lotted together these paints, and they're different ones, like they're metallic, satin, you know, it's just various ones. So, because these didn't seem to sell as well as some of the others I had, um, the glass paint uh, seems to sell pretty good individually. Um, so I lotted these eight together, and they sold for $18.69, and the buyers all in at $28.10. Those actually may have been on sale. All right, next item. Everybody knows all about Funko Pops and Five Nights at Freddy. Well, I bought seen this at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for this little cupcake, and he sold for um, 
was he on sale? I, don't, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, he was on sale. And so it sold for twenty two seventy five, and the buyer's all in at thirty forty one. Funko Pop and Five Nights at Freddy have been nice to me lately, especially Five Nights at Freddy. So a dollar turned into twenty two seventy five. All right, next item, it's Xbox. Come on, light three sixty, Dark Souls two, two, Dark Souls two, Scholar of the First Sin. It had nothing in it, as far as there's no manuals. It did have both discs. They look to be in good condition. It sold both of those, whatever. The one game sold for ten twenty five, um, and I believe that was an offer. And it, the buyer's all in at sixteen twenty six. All right. Oh, where did I get this? Wow. Were these my sons? Yeah. This was part of my son's items, so I have zero into that item. All right, next are some, it's four of them. The melamine, melamine, melamine plates. Uh, this was part of the 220 deal, so I did not source these. Um, but that set of four, they're very pretty, um, sold for $12 even, and the buyer's all in at $26.32. So that is 13 items for two days. That is awesome for me, and I will take it and run to the bank. So, again, thanks, everybody. Um, I know, I, like I said, I haven't been making videos, and I really got to just get over it. <laughs> or just stop altogether. Um, I haven't even been watching a lot of videos. Every now and then I'll watch one or two and then I'm just done. I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a funk. But my eBay's doing really well, so I'm happy about that. And again, thank you to uh, everyone that's been watching and thank you to my new subscribers. I got um, probably about four, four or five new subscribers and that's exciting. So, um, the closer we get to 200, I still have my items that um, when we when I hit 200, I will give those out. So, you know, to one or two lucky winners. I'll have to see what I got again and uh, decide. So, everyone, I hope you're having great sales as well. And y'all go out and make yourself proud and have a great day. Bye-bye.